Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Shilpa Satish, Secretary, National Institute of Clinical Excellence Homeopathy. I'm extremely happy to see all of you joining today's session from different parts of the world. Let us start this program with the invocation by Dr. Anuradha. Dr. Anuradha for an auspicious beginning. Beaming with proud and joy, I would now like to throw light upon the pug marks of our institution in the last 10 years. Institute embarked in the year 2013. It was a humble beginning with small group of young doctors. Planted with strong principles and incredible vision by a passionate teacher and practitioner, Professor Dr. H.L. Swami. And today, we are here at the 10th year mile post. There was no turning back ever since we started. Not even COVID could halt our progress. We shifted all our offline sessions to online mode that indeed widened our horizons and led us to soar heights. Institute got registered under Karnataka government, also got affiliated to Yoga University of Americas, Florida, US. Every academic year, we offer two major courses, Metamorphosis, PG Diploma in Advanced Classical Homeopathy. Till date, we've completed seven batches successfully. PG Diploma in Thyroid Disorders and Diabetes Management, three completed batches till now. We do conduct small workshops under the banner Class 2 Clinic Webinar Series. Homeopathic Dermatology, Mastering the Significance of Intercurrent Remedies in Clinical Practice, rare and uncommon prescription are the few to mention. Our faculties are our strength. Working together are the coordinators. All this wouldn't have been possible without the constant support of fellow homeopaths. Thank you, dear doctors, for being with us in this voyage. As a token of gratitude to our homeopathic fraternity in general and nice homeopaths in particular, these learning sessions are scheduled under free registration. With this brief narrative, I extend gracious welcome on behalf of National Institute of Clinical Excellence Homeopathy to all our esteemed guests for joining in big numbers from across the globe to the curtain warmer session of our decennial program. I heartily welcome all our faculties, Professor Dr. B. D. Patil, sir, Professor Dr. Sripath Hitte, sir, Professor Dr. H. L. Swami, sir. I also welcome our dear coordinators, Dr. Akhara, Dr. Anuradha, Dr. Anusha, Dr. Neha, and Dr. Once again, a warm welcome one and all for the first session of the Hidden Treasures of Plant Kingdom, which will be followed by a couple of sessions more in communication and we will be well informed with the further details. I now request 
ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ್ ಹೆಗ್ಡೆ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಪತಿ ಟು ಇನಾಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಶುಭ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಶೇರ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಶಿಲ್ಪ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ yeah now i will again we see we have started the new session with a very good auspicious day and with a good occasion and with a positive spirit see all with the blessings of god and hanuman we are studying and study is never ending in education especially in the medical education in that as to the special homeopathic education because every day the something changes and the new things are coming up and erupting and on this occasion as already the dr shilpa and dr tripti they said this is a celebration of national institute of clinical excellence i congratulate you all the faculty as well as other supporters and any institute without the students it cannot run and all over the world all over india the nice in short the national institute of clinical excellence has got a students with so many vast experiences and knowledge and i am very proud of you and once again i congratulate nice and the idea behind this dr h l swami as well as other juniors who are working with us see and by this wishing you all the happy success in the learning it is a sharing and learning and i am also a student of nice see i am very proudly to say that and with these few words i declare that the session starts wish you all the best thank you sir thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much for your uh, encouraging words i also thank shrimati manjula swami ma'am for uh, doing the honors by lighting the lamp
a pessimist complains about the wind. An optimist tries to change it. And a leader adjusts the sails. The leader who adjusted the sails is our today's resource person, Professor Dr. H. L. Swami. A great visionary, a teacher par excellence, who is always enthusiastic to teach. Passionate doctor with 30 plus years of clinical experience in treating various clinical conditions ranging from autism to Alzheimer's. Former principal, Anuradha Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital, Professor, Department of Homeopathic Pharmacy, Bhagwan Buddha Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital, served as guest faculty, Department of Homeopathic Materia Medica, Government Homeopathy Medical College Hospital, Bengaluru. Chairman, Karnataka Qualified Homeopathic Doctors Association, founder and director of National Institute of Clinical Excellence Homeopathy, member of expert committee, Department of Ayush Government of Karnataka, recipient of Excellence Award in Homeopathy by Homeopathic Society of India, has credit of presenting several scientific papers at various national and international conferences. With this brief introduction, I now present before you, Professor Dr. H.L. Swami. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Shilpa. Thank you very much for uh, your uh, nice words about me and the Institute. Uh, friends, as uh, Agde Sar and uh, told, uh, told you right just now, this is a decennial program. We completed 10 uh, meaningful years in spreading the classical homeopathy. So as a part of our decennial program, we chosen a topic of plant kingdom, the hidden treasure of plant kingdom. This is a series of lecture. Today it will be beginning and the same day, same time. Next in the weeks coming also, uh, with a different resource person, different faculties will address this one. So today, let me, I have uh, got an opportunity to start with this session. So for that, I thank nice team. Why I choose this plant kingdom is, one is it's a vast majority of our drugs are from plants. And uh, there is a misnomer that plant uh, drugs are only limited to only for acute conditions. Either we have the limitation in usage or abundance, so many drugs even we are not heard. Both extremes are there. So that was the reason I, I thought, let me start, we will start with this plant kingdom concept for this, our decennial program. Shilpa, you can share the slides. See, friends, if you observe, majority of our drugs, not only in homeopathy, even in the other sciences, the source will be the plants. Why? Why so? Either it may be allopathy, Ayurveda, Yunani, Chinese medicine, anything. So majority of our, the source uh, is from the plant kingdom. In homeopathy, at least more than 75 to 75% or 80% of the drugs are from this kingdom. We have thousands and thousands of plants are used as a medicines. See, when you see the evolution of the mankind, human, either the basic need like food, shelter, cloth, for everything, we depend on our mother nature. Roti, kapra, makan. Uske baat to dawai. So when these things, the man try to look, the human being try to look around him. So there, he, the first thing we saw is the plants. To fill the stomach, also plants. To protect also plants. To kill also plants. There are plants which is poisonous also. So plants, abundance, variety, different things that probably made the humankind for the plant kingdom to look around. Generally, when we think of plants, what it comes to our mind first? Plant remedies, remedies from plant kingdom. 
You can unmute or you can chat. chat, chat. What it comes to our mind? Plant remedies. Uh, answers on, yeah. No, I'm not asking the drug's name. What do you think when you think of plant remedies? Remedies prepared from the plant kingdom. Examples are right. Belladonna, Bryonia, Aconite. Soil. Soil. Remedies prepared from the plants. Okay. Sensitivity. Good. As the plant itself is sensitive, Sensitivity. Majority of the drugs, plant drugs are highly sensitive. Adjustable. Delicate. Wow, super. Good. Accessible. Mild. Mild. Okay. Yielding. Rooted. So generally, we think no plant affected by the weather. Very good. Affected by the weather. Yes, mild, delicate, fine. Same thing. So, whenever growth, good. Growth also. Nutrition, yes. Whenever we think of plant remedies, we think that plant remedies generally short-acting remedies. Mostly not injurious. But there are some poisonous also will be there. Okay? So, next slide. Generally, the remedies prepared from the plant, usually we think they're all short-acting remedies. That's why it is majority of that are used in the acute condition. Very short-acting, like aconite. Very short-acting. Short-acting remedies. And they have strong influence of emotion. I think uh, in Solomon's Island something where the people, when they want to cultivate the forest land, they don't cut the trees. They all go and they surround by to the tree to be cut and they started blaming, cursing the, the tree. Over the few days, it will die itself. So they have strong influence of emotions. Isn't it? Even we see no so the plants which has grown near the music, this thing, uh, with the positive vibes, they grow much better. Okay? Strong influence on emotion. Okay? Next. Generally, the plants which has nutritious values, nutritious plants are little more superficial symptoms, gentle, gentle in nature. Next. Whereas, the plants, which are poisonous plants, they give up more of a violent symptoms like Belladonna, Stramonium, Pyazimus. So, and the plants which are poisonous have generally more deeper than the nutrition plants. And you know, struggle. from the, When you put the seed in the soil until it grows, it struggles. Struggle is a part of it. Even the patient's history also, you see the lot of struggle in the plant kingdom drugs. Hmm. Quick in action, quick changes, sudden changes, sudden aggravation, sudden amelioration. You can see in the, in the plant remedies. The remedy which uh, the food which they like Suddenly, they may dislike, started aversion also. Those changes we can see in the plant kingdom. Generally, they have feelings, a lot of deep feeling. Next. Moods, alternating moods. Sometimes very happy, sometimes very this thing. Alternating moods we can see in the plant kingdom drugs. Moods, varying moods, alternating moods, shifting moods. And they have very strong uh, day and night changes. Aggravation in nighttime, aggravation daytime, seasonal changes, seasonal aggravation, seasonal amelioration like a dull camera, all this one we saw, aconite itself. So aconite aggravation, especially during the what type of weather? 
northwest wind so which causes uh, in kannada we call mungaru that uh, the wind what we are now getting this strong current winds northwest winds that causes so the seasonal changes day and night changes these are all the characteristic common symptoms of the plant kingdom okay few more generally ailments from trauma either it's physical or mental traumas so physical trauma arnica there are so many drugs are there mental traumas staphsagria ignitia okay trauma ailments from trauma hmm? nervous excitements generally plant remedies are excited very easily hmm? nervous excitement <coughs> next alteration of moods already we told rapid alteration of moods dreams and dream like states so strong dreams like falling down from height puja like that one strong dreams repeated dreams hmm? fantasies so generally fantasies are all comes under the plants next disappointments okay so disappointments see people who have sensitive they get disappointed very easily hmm? as the plants are very sensitive duality separation rage you can see that rage also in the lot of in the plant kingdom anger easily rage okay and separation makes them aggravation duality frustrated love restrictions these are all the things which which, which causes ailments from hmm? ailments from the separation where the ailments from rage ailments from frustrated love restriction and plant remedies are well used in different stages stages of life for example chamomile for children sina children pulsatilla puberty so we have stages of life okay we have the drugs for different stages different drugs and uh, this very clear mark this thing we can see it in the plant kingdom so sometimes what happens no some plants are there which may not be completely there in that drug generally we call most of the plants are short acting remedy but the few drugs are there very very deep acting remedy it is as deep as a mineral or a metal or a noso such a deep acting remedies are also there generally plant remedies are very fast acting and short period there are drugs which is slow in action for longer time it acts but still it's a plant okay today we will learn a drug which is contradicting the this basic things okay where it is a long acting it is the slow acting deeper one the drug will this thing before going to drugs can you identify this personality anybody knows his name you can put it in chat you know he is an hollywood actor silpa you can only put yes what's his name ron perlman yes ha huh? is an hollywood actor can you identify this drug which drug he belongs veratrum okay good why veratrum shweta you can unmute and talk also no problem dr veena says lycopodium acha okay i am not seeing this acha lycopodium why lycopodium veena dr karuna also says lycopodium lycopodium so why lycopodium because there is a this you can see the lines on the forehead eh huh? because of that 
you can put it in the chat, uh, doctors. Yeah, same. Yes. Um, that is the reason. Photos on the forehead. Okay. 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 So that which drug they belongs. This is the drug. Can you identify this drug? This plant. Yes, 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 yes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Tuga, Tuga. Good, good. See, such a decorative plant, no? Huh? Arbora vitae, Tuja. But when you look at the close, it looks so full of the small, small, ugly growth. So Tuja is also like that one. They think that they are ugly. People cannot love them. Like, which is this drug? Which is this drug? Like anacardium. Anacardium. So even anacardium, as they look, see, generally all plants have the seeds inside. But here in anacardium, it's outside. They also, that's why they have dual personality. Dr. Jock and Hyde. What they show in a day and night will be different. And sometimes it is, they have the split one, good and bad. Because to mask, same thing in Tuja. Tuja try to mask. Tuja always feels that that doesn't look nice. They are ugly. At least they feel. They feel that they, people will not love me. They love them. If they know what really I am, people will not love, love me. So that feeling is always it. That's why Tuja patients always mask. It is very difficult to get the actual symptoms of Tuja, at least in the beginning. For a practitioner, it is a big challenge when they get Tuja patients in their clinic to elicit the symptoms. They talk very minimum or no talking. Even if you ask, their answer will be yes or no in one single one, this thing. And they hide so much. You know that there is something. See, sometimes what happens, there is nothing to tell. That is different. But sometimes you know there is something, but they are not going to reveal it. That is Tuja. Who proved Tuja? Who is the prover? Who proved Tuja? Admin, you can allow them to mute, unmute and talk. Yes, sir. Hmm? Any guess? Hanuman. Hanuman. Hanuman proved this Tuja. And you know how the proving of Tuja is an accidental proving? Majority of our proving except the drugs which is at that time used in the allopathy, all only as the other drugs. Otherwise, most of the drugs are accidental proving. And you know the story behind this? How Tuja is proved? Actually, once Hanuman got one young person, patient, so he came, uh, he came for some urogenital problem. He came for some ureth urethral problem. And that problem, that symptom was looking as if like a gonorrheal symptom. And the Hanuman asked him about the history of exposure. He tells no. There is no history of exposure, uh, this thing. So he's not uh, done any sexual contact. And that person is a theos theosophical, from the theosophical society, theosophical background. So Hanuman thought that may not be, he may not be telling the lies, he may be true. 
but he was not very clear about the this thing so he did not give any medicine he asked him to i mean he gives maybe probably gave placebo he asked him to come after 3 days after 3 days when the patient came he was asking the again the symptoms and all he told now i am fine clear no this thing then he asked what you took how it happened no no sir nothing nothing i took so but it is clear then suddenly ha ah, sir i just remember on the way going back from this one on 3 days back i just chewed few leaves of the tuja plant that struck the hanuman and that made hanuman to prove this trick if you have farrington please go and read it it is there in farrington text so nowadays we forgot to read our masters old masters we are all reading only new masters hmm? so they are all treasures so tuja proving itself is in that way even the there also the person who initiated to prove this one he himself was not giving this symptoms except the presenting complaint he did not give the tuja character is like that one see except for the wards tuja is one plant where it is either underused or abused lot of allopathic doctors also use tuja for them any wart simply they give tuja and getting a tuja personality is also a challenge that's what i told the challenge it lies between the underused or overused or abused okay so today just we'll have one small uh review of this plant try to learn the tuja the other side apart from the what it is famous for what what is definitely there apart from what are the other these thing tuja can be thought when you can use tuja how the tuja personalities are there all that one okay yes ma generally tuja is left sided remedy left side hydrocin left side uh, hernias left ovarian pain it's very very uh strong indicated medicine for the ovarian pains especially left sided ovarian pain especially in between the menses in between the periods so ovulation time strong symptom for tuja whenever the patient it may be pcod it may be infertility when the patient comes and tells the pain in the left side in between two menses or ovulation period think of tuja which is the right side drug which is right side pain in right side in between the menses ovulation period pain in the right side of the ab lower abdomen some guess here yeah? lycopodium acha lycopodium is right sided right mm. but in between that is ovulation period in between the menses two menstrual periods bovista no no bovista no it is not apis even though apis is also wonderful uh, remedy for the uh, ovarian pains right sided but not in this period not prevenia no ferinum no it is palladium you heard this drug palladium palladium it is a noble metal okay like platina most of the symptoms are also like platina but there are some differences when it uh, when our your uh, super faculties make this one we will have one noble metals seminar also on the workshop huh? it is palladium is one of the beautiful remedy for right sided ovarian pain especially in between the periods or the ovulation time okay tuja is a chilly patient 
this C2S, uh, C3S2 is not the benzium or the carbo, this thing uh, is organ not organic chemistry, it's a chilly and hot. They have the dimensions of hot also, but it is chilly remedy. Chilly sites are more than hotter sites. For example, uh, uh, it is sensitive to cold air, cold in general, cold wet weather, open air, okay? But warmer side is better by heat of the bed, better by closed, this thing, better in exposure to sun, okay? So both are there, but strong chilly. There are hot dimensions also there. Okay, whereas other antipsychotic remedy, medorinum, is more hotter than tuja. Medorinum is hot, so both are called as king of psychotic remedies, tuja and medorinum. Medorinum is more of a hotter side, tuja is more of a chilly side. Tuja, miasmatically, very, very mild soric, or major, there is very less soric symptoms in tuja. Yeah, on this thing, very insignificant, but strong psychotic and syphilitic. It is a strong psychotic remedy. And there are a lot of syphilitic, this thing, like, for example, it is not only the suppressed gonorrhea, even for suppressed syphilis, you can think of syphilin. Okay? So, Tuja can be easily remembered with the three Gs. The first G is glands. It affects Affinity for the glands, especially thyroid gland, other glands, hypothyroidism, one of the classical drug. Gonorrhea, suppressed gonorrhea, growth, soft growth, tumors, soft tumors, benign tumors, growth, fig warts, warts, polyps, ranulas, all that one, growth. Okay? So easy to remember, Tuja is 3G. Huh? Nowadays, it is not 3G, no, 4G. Mm -hmm. 5G is also coming, uh, 4G, which is the fourth G. Fourth G is Gorilla. They look like the their features are physical appearances like a gorilla type. That person, what you see, no, in the beginning, you see his face, gorilla type of face, where the hairline is, forehead is very small, small neck or no neck. Okay. So medium physic, big trunk, height is less. They are called, this thing is a, 4G is the gorilla-like appearance. Okay? Next. It's fear of action. Basically, it acts on the skin and mucous membrane. Skin, it develops. The one thing is thickening of the skin, growth, soft growth, warts, nails, deformity of nails, brittle nails, any of that in detail we will learn in the, this thing. It acts on the mucous membrane, especially genito, urinary tract, and gastrointestinal tract. Affinity for the occiput, especially headache, occipital region. Either it starts from the occipital. <laughs> Huh? No, 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 sir. No, sir. Continue. So, glands, as I already told, ovarian gland, thyroid gland, especially left sided ovarian gland. Blood, it causes anemia. So, it's one of the beautiful drugs for anemia. Nerves, it affects the nerves, causes yeah. the numbness. Um, paralysis, not paralysis, I have not seen much. But the early stage of paralysis, also, you can think, especially left sided, this one. So, right sided uh, paralysis, more of like a paresis. And numbness, numbness is very strong symptom. Numbness of the left foot, left leg, okay? Mind, mind already I told, and any anyhow we learn in detail the mental symptoms of the puja. Next. Huh, periodicity, it is very strong remedy, the periodicity, aggravation in 3 a.m. and 3 p.m., more of 3 a.m., 3 a.m. aggravation, so, uh, uh, periodicity, yearly ones, yearly ones, any other drugs, you know, annual repeating, symptoms repeat every year, same month, arsenic, tuberculum. Sir, it's not for giving it, sir. 
ఎస్పెషలీ ఫుల్ మూన్ అగ్రవేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫుల్ మూన్ అండ్ మూన్ లైట్ అగ్రవేట్స్ ఓకే సో పీరియాడ్ సిటీ ఈస్ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ మార్క్ ఇన్ ది వ్యాక్సినేషన్ దర్ ఈస్ గుడ్ రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ ది తూజా అండ్ వ్యాక్సినేషన్ సో ఎల్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది వ్యాక్సినేషన్ హిస్టరీ from the uh, not well from that date especially it is more commonly seen during the smallpox vaccination but nowadays smallpox vaccination we it is not there even for the other vaccinations if there is a strong symptoms otherwise mild symptoms will be there with the majority of the vaccination even pediatrician themselves sells with the fever and other things but if there is a long term or a chronic disease where dated back to the vaccination we can think of tuja next animal poisoning animal bite stinked especially snake bite so we can think of the tuja which is the food poisoning drug food poisoning arsenic 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 okay next sexual excess indulging in sexual 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 activities as you all know psychotic remedies they try to experiment the early experiment of sexual this thing so sexual excess also the one of the cause ailments from fartuja which are the other remedies aggravation from sexual excess acid fast china medorinum all those drugs okay good opposite opposite which is the remedy opposite sebility forced bachelorhood opposite not sepia conium 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 good conium dali conium conium is the remedy right conium where so especially for the nuns or this thing where they have the symptoms because of suppressed sexual activities are desired okay good so ailments from tea tobacco narcotics tea any other remedy naxomica sir naxomica naxomica okay coffee tea both are there naxomica better than that tea sepia sepia aha china cinchona china is a beautiful remedy for the aggravation from tea hmm? okay good tobacco Uh, somebody put naxamika tobacum all that one narcotics also okay so narcotics then modalities causative modalities or aggravation most of them is most of the tuja symptoms aggravates during this type of weather damp cold weather which is the other remedies damp cold aggravation Del Camara. Del Camara. Good. Rastrax. All that one. Yes. Good. Good. Uh, heat of the bed. Which is the other Selfers. remedy? Heat of the bed. Sulfurs. Sulfurs. Lachesis. Lachesis. More than lachesis. Lachesis. Sleep is aggravation. Not heat. Heat of the bed. Mercury. Mercury. Medorinum. is hot but not not much with this one marksal yes marksal aggravation from sun 
Any other remedies, you know? Natremur. Sa, natremur, calcarea. Glonine. Good, very good. Natrum carb. Natrum carb, wow, yeah. natrum group. Good. Bright light. Aggravation from bright light. Any other remedy? Cestramonium. Iris versicularis, sir. Iris, belladonna. Pygelia, belladonna. Belladonna, natremure, all that one. Ventilation. Aggravation from ventilation. Opposite. Anybody? Better by... Better by open air, pulsatilla, allium sepa. Okay? Okay, good. Next. Aggravation from caution. Which are the other remedies? Sepia. Sepia. Kali. Okay, in sepia, aversion. Aversion to caution. Natremure, aggravation from caution because of dryness. Platina, sensitivity. Even tuja is also because of sensitivity. Ah, somebody put this one. That is good. Agaricus. Complaints, ailments from coitus. Agaricus. Agaricus is the right remedy. Okay. Next. From chewing. Act of chewing itself aggravates. Okay. Like a bryonia. Stretching. The stretching aggravates. They feel better by folding, crossing the legs. Sepia. Stretching, stretching aggravates. Yes. Stretching aggravates. They are better by folding it. Tuja patient even sleep. They cross the legs and sleep. They feel better. Okay. Stretching. It will aggravates. Especially pain and numbness in the legs. Aggravation from tea. Already we discussed coffee. Onion. Which are the other remedies? Onion? Tuja. Tuja are the only we are talking. Okay. Other than Tuja. Other than Tuja? Sabadilla. Sabadilla. Good. Sabadilla. Pulsatilla. Pulsatilla to certain extent. Disorders of stomach after onion. Uh, especially fried. Fried. Onion bhaji, papada, <laughs> and this time, uh, rainy <laughs> season. <laughs> okay. Alumina, bryonia. Good. But better than all these things is lycopodium. Ignatia, sulfur. It's a beautiful remedy. Lycopodium is. Aggravation Top from most. onion. Aggravation, onion. Hmm? Other remedies are there, but lycopodium, pulsatilla, ranks higher. Hmm? Tuja. Okay. Fatty food, again, pulsatilla. Sweets, aggravation. There are a lot of remedies. Okay. Next. Amelioration. Warmth. Warm wind, warm wear, wrapping up. Okay. But it is not as sensitive uh, to the air as uh, a parcel. But definitely, yes. Cold air, open air, aggravates. Better by wrapping up. Hmm? Next. Free secretions, they are better by free secretion, especially the pathological secretion than the physiological secretion. They are better by sneezing, better uh, secretion, which is not natural one. Then they will feel better. Okay, next. Ah, sneezing itself is there. Okay, next. Motion, better by motion, like bryonia. Okay. It has both symptoms of Rastox and Bryonia, especially aggravation of during rest after a walking or after motion. Okay, that is aggravated in Tuja, like a Rastox. But aggravation of any movements like a, uh, the, the, this thing, no, sorry, here it's a better by motion. Better by motion, um, aggravation by during the rest, but especially rest after the exertion. It aggravates. Okay. Whereas ameliorates by motion. They feel better once they started moving. The moment they sleep, they have the 
problem. Hmm? Even they sweat. So when they sleep, they sweat. And the moment they wake up, sweating stops. Drawing up of the limbs, already I told, they sleep with the drawing up the legs, crossing the legs, they feel better. Next, crossing the legs. Better by rubbing, touch. Okay? So pathology, you, we all know about the warts. It's a beautiful remedies for warts. Lot of types of warts is there, soft wart, small wart, big wart, full body wart, discolored wart, warts, all that type of warts are there. But one thing is, it is nothing is specific in homeopathy. Don't use puja for all types of warts. For all warts, it may not cover. There are a lot of other remedies like casticum, sepia, calcarea. There are so many remedies are there, which has a beautiful action on the warts. But warts, especially on the orifices, puja is almost like specific, especially in the anal orifice, vaginal orifice. So when you get the wart, okay, next. For polyp, polyp, vaginal polyp, urethral polyp, benign tumors, huh? then the cancerous one. It is more oftenly used for benign tumor. I treated a lot of patients for their urethral and vaginal polyp. Even one case of polyp in the ear, I treated with puja. Ranula, ranula, what is ranula? Ranula? It is a cyst-like growth cyst -like. In the, under the tongue. tongue, sir. Okay. So it's a beautiful remedy. Uh, several cases of ranula I treated with a wonderful result with this drug. Okay. There are so many other drugs are also there. Hmm? So amyl nitrate uh, and all that one. But so ranula is, uh, Tuja is one of the leading remedy. Okay. And for herpes, herpes zaster, Herpes labialis. It's herpes on the pubic region. Puja is one of the beautiful remedy. Warts on pubic region, herpes on pubic region, all sexually transmitting diseases, this thing. So that's why it is a beautiful remedy for the psychotic and syphilitic, psychosyphilitic. So majority of here, the psychosis passed through the generation. The psychotic not acquired. In the, they are inherited. Whereas Medorinum is more of acquired psychosis. That's why for acute gonorrhea, medorinum acts better than the tuja. Tuja may not help in the acute gonorrhea. It is more for the suppressed gonorrhea or the gonorrhea-like symptoms in pass from generation to generation. Okay? Whereas acute this thing, whereas the medorinum is more of it, along with the psychotic, it has a tubercular. So sorosyphilitic, tubercular. So that is why it, it is helpful in the acute gonorrhea, whereas tuja helps in the, the chronic gonorrhea or suppressed gonorrhea or hereditary. Okay, next. Most of the discharges are greenish and offensive. Next. It is beautifully, act, it acts beautifully on the paralysis, as I told you, more of Paresis and paralysis. Rheumatism, wonderful drug for rheumatism. Swelling of the joints. So pain, aggravation with the weather, when it all matches. So rheumatism, especially as I told you, in the beginning, Rustox will help. After a certain stage, Rustox doesn't help. So, but symptoms will be similar this thing. At that time, the Tuja will continue the treatment and complete the cure. Aneurysm. Gout. Okay, but gouty arthritis, gout is also there, but there are more other remedies. Here it is more of a rheumatic arthritis. Okay. Next is the tooth decay, especially the tooth decays at root, whereas crown is intact. Opposite is mercury. Already I written, otherwise I would have asked. Decay between the teeth. Between two teeth decaying. Tuja. Okay? Recto, vaginal fistula, even anal fistula. Tuja is a beautiful remedy. 
rectovaginal fistula it is more indicated vagina sensitive already i told that's why they have the aversion to coitus cough only at night, day time night they are better okay generally coughs are aggravated at night no whereas here cough is more in day time than the night okay next affinity as a we this thing skin and nails next little fast nails are brittle discolored distorted ribbed soft nails and uh, tuja is one of the beautiful remedy for in growing toe nails in growing toe nails any other remedy in growing toe nails silica yes silica silica is also a beautiful remedy for in growing toe nails okay i we avoided lot of surgery with these two drugs hmm? skin irritism you all know the hair growth in unwanted places especially in the female hair fall especially hairline is receding dark thick skin ha huh. nitric acid also for good for the uh, the in, uh, in growing of toe nails okay and the mucous membrane genital urinary this thing next it produces the gleat like symptom thick greenish offensive discharge at the end of urination they feel as if there is a drop of urination left sensation will be there and urine flow will be fork stream is the split like split one fork stream of urine severe burning at the end of urination which is the other remedy cutting type of pain severe Maybe. burning pain at the end Maybe. of the Maybe. urination Maybe. cantaris 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 yes. good good next history of gonorrhea okay <clears throat> that's already i told acute gonorrhea medorinum and other remedies like uh, cannabis sativa stafsagria mucous membrane git it produces gastralgia causes perversion they eat more than what they can digest what they can assimilate that's why this psychotics tendency they want more more hmm? they eat more than what they can digest okay next even the lapis alba also has this type of symptom obesity with the increased desire to eat they eat more and more they cannot this one they they cause obesity because of excessive eating one more drug is macar okay especially in children they don't know when to stop they keep eating hmm? so la in uh, lapis alba they eat desire to eat so much they just gulp they will not even relish hmm? okay next these are all the psychotic remedies location as i told you occipital region pain from the side goes to the occiput and settle in the left side of the head and there is one more very peculiar symptom in the head is as if the nail is uh put in the vertex the mm. nail uh that type of headache okay so driven into the vertex yes nail driven into vertex that type of headache ovarian pain left side tumor cyst next yeah this also already covered pain during the ovulatory stage okay and pseudo pregnancy false pregnancy also tuja tuja has the very peculiar sensation as if there is a living thing in their abdomen okay the baby is in the abdomen living thing that's so that is the indication for pseudo pregnancy or the false pregnancy one more drug is pulsatilla in uh, tuja it is more of a sensation okay a crocus also crocus corridas but whereas in pulsatilla they have the all the symptoms of pregnancy like nausea or this thing all that one whereas here only feeling as if there is a light thing in the tuja in blood it causes anemia already we told mm, mm, face pale oily greasy this is very classical symptom of tuja is their face is greasy sweat more on uncovered parts okay sweat 
uncovered spots or sweat while sleeping. The moment they stop sleeping, get up, they uh, uh, this thing, their sweat also stops, which is the opposite. Sweat stops when they sleep. Sambugus. Sambugus. Okay. Stop the descending and sweating, especially the, the smell will be like an onion. That type of smell, honey type of smell is also there. Onion type of smell, especially from the genital area. Okay. Next. It causes nerve, causes numbness, paralysis, that already I told. Paralysis, left-sided, and neurologic pains, huh? and numbness. Next. Periodicity. As I told you, 3M aggravation, both 3M, 3PM, but predominantly 3M. Any other remedies, 3AM? What are the other remedies? Aggravation by 3 a.m. Kali carbs. Kali Kali by Kali carbs. Kali bike is 2 a.m. Kali carb is around Ars, 3 a.m. Hours 1 to 3. Hours is 1 to 3. Uh, actually, it is 11 to 1. 11 to 1. 11 to 1 is arsenic. Okay? Whereas 2 to 4 is Kali carb. 4 o'clock, Naxomica. 5 o'clock, Natrum self. Okay. So, aggravation during menses, aggravation, moon phases, ascending moon or increasing moon, full moon is beautiful uh, acting of time for the puja. Okay. Ascending moon, full moon. Okay. Morning asan says two to three, sir. Arsenic. Morning uh, asan writes two to three, arsenic. Arsenic, but uh, generally, but generally Alan and all say 12 or 12 a.m. Uh, yes. but, uh, but, Descending uh, moon, silica. Ascending moon, tuja. Okay. The Next. best time for arsenic aggravation is between 12 and 2. 12 so midnight. and 2. And immediately after midnight. Hmm. Yes, sir. Sensation and complaints. Exhaustion. Great prostration, rapid emaciation. Okay? They get easily exhausted. Okay? Next. Soft, exuberant, fungoid tissues like a condolomata, polyp. These are the common presentation of tuja. Warts, I already told, black warts, all fleshy warts, soft warts, suppressed warts. This is very, very important. Suppressed words is one of the indication where I treated one uh, uh, nursing uh, institute uh, teacher. She was a stunt professor or professor. Okay. She had, she came to me for the miscarriage in early months. She was very beautiful and good looking lady. So, but she did not reveal majority of the symptoms in the beginning, except for this one. Generally, we thought of sepia, APs and all. So, but somehow I was hesitant to start. I was just, I wanted, okay, I wanted to give a few more time to this thing. After the second or in third visit, when I asked her, she told that she has a wart on genital one and it was cauterized. That is before the marriage. So you generally, Tuja patient re doesn't reveal very easily, okay? And after Tuja, she conceived, she had a baby boy, okay? So suppressed warts, okay? Constitution is hydrogenal constitution, lymphatic constitution. Next, discharges are foul, acrid, misty, sweetish odor, okay? Sweetish odor, which is other remedy, sweetish odor, sweat. Sweat, sweetish odor. Caladium, sir. Caladium. Caladium, caladium, correct. 
Eile. Uh, stools, skin, and sweat is oily. Pains, burning type of pains, striking, drawing, wandering pain. Pain with numbness. Okay? Good. Next. Because of time, I'm little going fast. Okay? Already Next. time is over. Time is over. Uh, I have to ask, excuse this thing. Uh, faculty, super faculty, can you yes, spare another five, ten minutes for me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Already uh, 45. You, start, you started late. That is not my problem. Okay. Huh? Okay. Next. Mind. But you want me yeah, to read? This, this is very important. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ugly, deceitful, suspicious, manipulative, ugliness towards husband and mother, controls with strangers. Yeah. For outsiders, they control. They don't show that this, uh, this one, ugliness. But in family, at home, yes, they are ugly, deceitful, suspicious. Manipulative. Hardness, physically tumors, mentally with communication. Both levels. Hmm. Next. Fixed ideas, delusions. They have a lot of delusions, fixed ideas, as if their legs are very delicate, it can it fragile, it can break easily. So they especially they will not allow the others to touch their part. They feel as if it is so fragile. They have the delirium or the idea that somebody is there, stranger is coming behind them or next to them. As I told you, they feel as if there is some living thing uh, in, the, in their abdomen. Their body and soul are separated. All that type of ideas, delusions are there in the Tujam. Loathing yes. of life and suicidal tendency. They have loathing of life because of this thing, they, this thing also and suicidal tendency. Yeah. Highly anxious, anxious. You know that all psychotic people are highly anxious. Okay. Hasty. Anxious. Hasty mm. talks, eats, especially when angry, cannot talk or think slowly. So they cannot talk, they cannot think when they are in anger. Okay. Their hurry, even in speech and eating also, hurried, like a sulfuric acid. Time passes too slowly. Like Medorina. Falling Next. down dreams. Huh, dreams of falling down. Uh, very prominent uh, symptom of uh, Tuja. Mm. Irritable, jealous and quarrelsome. Yes. Sensitive to music, weeping, trembling of feet. This is very, very important. Sensitive to music. Music aggravates. They, especially it brings down the weeping. Weeping along with trembling of the feet when they hear the music, the only remedy in the repertory is tuja. Okay? Mm. Concentration week 4 plus. Mistakes while reading 3 plus and writing 3 plus. They have learning disability, especially due to lack of concentration, weak concentration. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes while writing and reading like a medorinum. Okay, Madurinam Tujaya are the beautiful drugs for the LD, learning disability. Wants to be alone. Yes, even Lacaninum for the concentration. Yes, okay. Wants to be alone. They want to be alone because they wanted to hide their ugliness. When they're in public with the, this thing, they think that others may know their secret, their inner mind. If they know that one, they will not like me. So that's why they always have to be wanted to be alone. Okay. How this psychopathology comes, how this Tuja mentality grows. See, the fixed ideas are what I told the, the ugliness and all. There are other remedies are also there. But how Tuja psychosis, this thing is comes. Huh? So I try to give a small chart. They have desires, multiple desire, desire which is not accepted by the society. So liking somebody's wife. A married woman is a wrong, but they have desire. They control it because of the society. 
or the family. That is only an example I told. Not did we not are they some property, somebody's this thing, or somebody's vehicle, something they desire, and which is not right, they know, they control it, not because the afraid of the society and family. That leads to the depression. Okay. Then they hide. They hide this desire. They mask. They try to be good with them. Good with that family. Okay. They mask. Next. They will be waiting for an opportunity. They become secretive. Hmm? They control their expression. And they cheat and manipulate. They cheat. They try waiting for the opportunity to cheat. These are the people who do sh shoplifting when there is nobody to observe. So they feel so happy. They feel high when they cheat others. Okay? Because of that, they don't want to show the truth is thing, they mask. The picture is not clear. This is how the puja pathophysiology of the mind. Okay? Next. Huh. Physical appearance. Dark complexion with sallow yeah. skin or fair skin with dark hair, hair usually straight. Freckles and moles on skin, even warts are common. Tuja women are more sensitive than men, which is reflected on their face. They tend to have more refined and delicate features. Tuja men have average physique. Eyes are beautiful, express the innocence, childlike wonder. Okay. Tuja generally may, male are have the you know, average physique, the stout trunk. Uh, the structure is small. Generally, they have dark complexion, either the fair skin or the dark skin with a dark hair, and usually hair. Their body is full of hair, okay? Like our uh, Anil, Kap uh, Anil Kapoor, no? Anil Kapoor. Whole body is full of hair. That type of appearances. Uh, like a bear, teddy bear, bear. Okay? So, but Tuja women are more refined. They have the clear, uh, delicate features. Okay? But their eyes are beautiful. Their eyes uh, like looks like innocence, like a child, like wonder. Okay? So I'll just try to give some picture to get that one. So see this lady, Tuja woman. And already I showed one Hollywood uh, actor, Tuja male. And one more uh, peculiar personality, you all know them. They are also lively, right? Huh? Lively face only, lively smiling face. Uh, may not be, with or without smile, generally, Female will have some smile. Males will have always some little rigid. Their lips are thick. Lips are thick and dark. Okay? Mr. Bean. Huh? So unexpected things you can expect from him. But his eyes will be always innocent. Okay? Sir, we want this capture. We want this uh, photographs. <laughs> One minute, give, give me the photographs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, thank you. Old, old uh, two pictures also I want. Okay. Thank you, friends, for your patience hearing. Sorry, I took, I think, another 10 minutes uh, extra because of the, our, uh, we started the presentation late. It went to this one. So we'll try to keep up the our timings next time. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you sir. for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, sir. We know Tuja is a very uh, vast remedy and uh, confining it to like 40 minutes or 45 minutes is very difficult task. But you have tried your best to put it in uh, that short time. Thank you very much. Uh, I now request Professor Dr. B.D. Patel, sir, Faculty National Institute of Clinical Excellence Homeopathy, for his concluding remarks. Sir? Thank you, Dr. Shilpaji. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Friends, there is a saying in uh, Vedic literature, 
अमंत्रम अक्षरम नास्ति नास्ति मूलम मनौषधम अयो आयो अयोग्य पुरुष नास्ति योजक स्तत्व दुर्लभ एनीबडी अंडरस्टूड नो बडी इंक्लूडिंग सुपर फैकल्टी सी देर इज सेइंग इन वेदास देन देर इज नो लेटर व्हिच इज नॉट ए मंत्र एनी लेटर कैन बी यूज्ड एज ए मंत्र एंड देर इज नो पर्सन हु इज यूजलेस and there is no plant which doesn't have medicinal values means every plant has a medicinal value everything that is created on the earth has some value the difficulty comes in utilizing them understanding them and making use of them so you say this fellow is useless you should not say that he may be useless according to you in certain ways but he may be useful in many other ways for example you see the you may have a useless prime minister um narendra modi seventh class fail and but the way he has made the country to go top and today his speech you should have here but everybody feels proud so every plant even the grass that grows on the road we use, we make alpha alpha medicine from that so every plant everything can be used as a medicine only thing you should know how to make use of it you should have the intense power of research and then things come out and really i congratulate the super faculty and dr swami for this initiative of one hour lecture just simply like that something will start he started with the plant kingdom because i think he loves the plants very much because from his house i get amrood i get uh, so many mangoes so many things this time i am waiting for his mangoes so that plant kingdom is a very vast one and as you rightly said and uh, more than that the tuja first he has picked up this drug i really thank him i congratulate him for picking up a drug that is a personality which is hidden silent non expressive but a lot of things are there inside see you cannot expect and uh, you cannot expect the details from a tuja person so easily a sora person can talk like me fat 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 he talks and finishes talk but a person with lot of brain understanding and all this like dr swami he will not speak his knowledge you have to take it out from him so he, he himself has attempted and gave a very beautiful description i was feeling that i am sitting in his class and listening to him each sentences each word and the way he has put the picture especially that uh, somebody was asking a picture of uh, what is the last picture, last picture what is the fellow's name mr bean ha huh? that he eating chocolate sir mr bean ha uh, mr, mr bean, bean huh? mr bean mr. sir bean. Uh, that, picture, that, that picture is a rare picture see we have other pictures of mr bean but this is rare but anyhow so nice and i think most of the people those who are attending they have they have been benefited their material medical has been refreshed and it gives lot of incentive to attend more and more lectures on the nice platform a plot platform created for all of us let us all learn and let us enrich our knowledge with these few words i thank everyone and i thank everybody who is behind this organization and i say shubh ratri and should and we'll have next class again an interesting class uh, let us see how it comes okay but we want you to spread this message to many people uh, only 92 people 92 persons have attended this i want it to be 192 next time it all depends upon dr neha Absolutely, dr priti kulkarni dr shilpa shakti sorry shilpa madam and tripti pai and so many other people uh, you should all attend me wide spread let friends come and attend it it's free we are not charging anything see you will be benefited nothing you will lose at least some points will be benefit i am benefited at every lecture i hear it is really refreshes homeopathy is very tough thank you and shubharatri thank you sir thank you for your encouraging words as always 
Uh, I now call upon Dr. Neha for vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. On this inaugural event of our decennial program, I, on behalf of NICE Institute, first of all, extend my gratitude and thanks to the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. I thank Dr. Anuradha for the melodious invocation. I am much obliged to Dr. Shilpa to cover the whole ceremony so nicely. Thank you, Dr. Shripad Hegde, sir, for inaugurating this knowledgeable journey. I am thankful to Srimati Manjula Swami for lighting up the lamp. I demonstrate my gratitude to our speaker, Dr. Rachel Swami, sir, who, took beautifully, who beautifully took us to the homeopathic treasure hunt of plant kingdom. Thank you, Dr. B.D. Patel, sir, to conclude the session with his mastery and expertise in homeopathy and showering his blessings to all of us. Thank you, dear doctors, for your time and presence. Last but not the least, I thank all coordinators of our institution for making this event a grand success. Hope you all like the session and will stay connected for our further free sessions. We will be sharing our WhatsApp group link through the email. So please keep checking your email. And for further details, kindly visit our website. That is www.nicehomeopathy.com. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Neha, for delivering go to flight. Uh, so we will close the session, sir. You're, you're muted, sir. Sir, you'll have to unmute. Swami, sir. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for this one. And I expect the feedback from the, the audience, which gives us, this is, that is a tonic for us to go ahead further. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night, everybody. I'll close the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.